Ladies and gentlemen, the incredible one of a kind, Jeffrey Gittimer. I grew up in New Jersey, where people eat their young. Anybody here from Jersey? Who cares? Before you can sell anyone else anything, you got to be sold on your company, your product, and yourself. If you don't believe all those things are great, you're in the wrong job. Get yourself a nice, safe job down the post office selling stamps. It's easy. People line up, they go, 100 stamps, please. You go, stamps, just made a sale. Hey, stamps. <laughs> and it's all about one salesperson encouraging another salesperson. Satisfied people will shop any place. Loyal people will do business with you for years. They'll fight before they switch. They'll tell everybody else they know to come do business with you. So let me put it in a way I think you'll get it. Would you rather your spouse be satisfied or loyal? <laughs> yeah, you got it? So now you understand satisfaction can lead to loyalty, but it doesn't guarantee it. I'm not afraid to tell somebody the truth ever. I'm also not afraid to have fun at selling. And you might be. How many people want one of my cards? How many people want one of your cards? Let me talk about creativity for just a second. This is Jacques Klein. He's a hockey goalie for the Montreal Canadiens and St. Louis Blues. He invented the goalie mask. Now Jacques Klein was a goalie when hockey was 150 years old already. Wouldn't you think somebody would have... But nope, one day, Jacques Plant got tired of getting hit in the face with the puck. Hello. Now there's a lesson here. Let me give you the lesson. The obvious is still waiting to be invented. Your job is to be thinking about it. And you can't be thinking about it in negative mode. You can only be thinking about it in positive mode. When I present information to an audience, it's to create what is known as a transferable concept. I want to get my audience to think to themselves, oh, I can do this. All things being equal, people want to do business with their friends. All things being not quite so equal, people still want to do business with their friends. In the South, where I live in Charlotte, North Carolina, that is referred to as the good old boys network. Anyone familiar with that? It begins with the word Billy Bob. <laughs> Billy Bob! I've been doing business with him for 25 years. I know his daddy. You walk into the sales call, Billy Bob has your daddy. Oh, he's fine, fine, fine. Now, I grew up selling garments in New York City. Anybody ever sell anything in New York City? Imagine walking in on the sales call saying, somebody has your daddy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to inspire an audience to become fulfilled by helping other people, their customers, their coworkers, their family members, and themselves. Motivation lasts for a day. Inspiration lasts for a lifetime. The flag has taken on new meaning in our society. Don't let time take your flag down. This is my dad's flag. He was a ex-Air Force officer. And when he passed away, they give you what is known as a coffin flag, a military coffin flag. And so I unfurled it in our home, and it's, it's hanging in the spiral staircase where I can see it every day walking up and down. Totally inspirational to me, and I'm challenging you to have something at home that is totally inspirational to you. My name is Jeffrey Gittimer. I give value first, I help other people, I strive to be my best at what I love to do. I establish long-term relationships with everyone and I have fun, and I do that every day. And I found out a secret. When you love what you do, all of your days are the same. They're holidays. I wish the same for you. I'll see you soon. Thank you very much. <laughs>